Hey guys, Matt Fouch here with another bass singing tips video. I'm with Matt Davis tonight and he sings with the Ball Brothers. Now we are in Red Deer, Alberta, Canada for the Canadian Gospel Music Celebration. And Matt and I were recently talking about just tips for bass singers that are younger, that are new to singing bass. Now I have a similar uh, journey as far as once I got into singing that you have had. Now, right. I, I did not have the training, uh, the learning, if you will, that you did because he went to school to for music. Mm -hmm. He sang in a very, uh, I say the word prestigious, but, but a very popular vocal group in college. So um, I wanted to have Matt share with you guys some bass singing tips because most of the guys we've had on here have been uh, my age or older. So right. I love to always right. get the perspective from some of the younger guys that are in gospel music. So Matt, tell all the folks listening uh, your name, your uh, not your name, we already said that, <laughs> but tell them your age, sure. you know, kind of a little bit of your, your singing history and the things you've learned over your years of singing so far. Sure, so I'm 23 years old and like you said, I went to college uh, for singing, but I, way before that, I grew up in church. I started singing at about three years old and uh, I mean, between church plays, you know, school, all, all the, any musical activity that I could get my hands on, I was there because I felt called into music at a very young age and I knew that God wanted me to either sing professionally or teach or something. So um, I, uh, I was always in the all-state choir or all this. And if, if you uh, looked for me, I was doing something musical. Um, so I went, to, I went to college for music and I was in the Voices of Lee under Danny Murray and he was a great coach. He, uh, he taught me a lot about bass singing. Um, and uh, the number one thing that he taught me was all about relaxation. Um, for a lot of new singers, you always are going to get up in front of a crowd and you're gonna be nervous because you're thinking about what those people are thinking about of you or how you look or how you're sounding. And none of that is important. The most thing that is important for a bass singer when you get on that stage is to relax. No one's going to shoot at you. Hopefully. It's it's so the the voice is a muscle, and when you tighten it up with your nerves, you actually are pushing it higher. So tenor singers then get nervous and get away with it. Bass singers, we can't be nervous. We have to relax. Our vocal cords have to be relaxed. And the main thing that you want to do is you want to breathe in, fill the diaphragm with air, then the lungs, and push from here. A lot of if you if you breathe in and your shoulders go up, you're breathing incorrectly and you're causing tension and getting nervous probably. So you want to take a deep breath from here, fill the lungs, and then push from the bottom. And that's how you're going to produce your, your best sound. Another thing that you want to think about is the resonating chamber. So you have a bunch of holes in your head and that's where you want that sound to go. You want it to echo like a, like a big cave when you go in and you go echo, echo, echo. That's what's happening in, in this area. They call it the mask. So you want that sound to go up and almost come out in between your eyes, which I know sounds weird, but that's how I think about it. When I'm going for a really low note, I'm trying to point that thing as low, you know, as, as far forward as I can get it because that's what's going to give it the cut. Yeah. Well, and we hear a lot about all the different techniques, the right. different styles, and they all have different names. Mm -hmm. and, and I've watched videos on YouTube of guys that are talking about different techniques, right. and, they, and they say things like, well, don't practice this too much because you'll hurt your voice, <laughs> right? Or don't um, make sure you only do this on occasion because if you do it too much, it will hurt your voice it, it, and because you're not doing it properly. Right. So you're really not singing. Right. You're making a, a noise, a noise <laughs> that just happens to be in, in a low frequency, and and for some people they are, they're getting away with it and, and all that, and I, that, it doesn't frustrate me. Right. But I just I, I I watch some of these videos on YouTube, and I just sit back and I think, how many guys are thinking they are low singers when all they're doing is replicating some way of making a a, a noise? Right. And so what I want you, you just kind of touched on a little bit. Do you have a name for that technique that you were just talking about? Or is it just proper that's, singing? That's just proper singing, honestly. I trained in opera when I was in school, and so that was, I, I really wasn't taught how to sing super low. I was taught where placement is supposed to be, and that's across the board with any singing. It's not just bass singing. But it's most important, in my opinion, for bass singers, because we can't project as loud as tenors, uh, baritones, and leads. 
So we, we obviously rely on our microphone a lot more, but to project it and get that tone out, that's, it's just proper it's singing. Go up. Yeah, it has to be in the mask. Um, so going on that, a lot of questions that we get in the comments of mm -hmm. these videos and guys I do my best to try to get to as many as I can when I have time to to answer the questions and a lot of you ask questions thank you so much for participating you know I hope to build a community here where 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 other guys can answer the questions sure. and we can all kind of share right but with that being said a lot of the questions a lot of times are how can I learn to sing from the mask so is there a a an exercise or anything that not necessarily give us a demonstration right, right. but try to explain to them a little bit how can they figure out if they're getting that tone placement where right. it, kind of where it needs to be or is there something they can do to work on that? sure so uh, most of the time singers are going to start when they when they first start singers sing from their throat and so you get a very ah uh, 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 that's the tone that is going to come across and especially bass singers because you you can produce low notes from your throat well, and you naturally as when you first start singing you naturally think I got to do this right. because I got to sing lower right. and you think and push down because right. I got to sing down mm -hmm. and so you you automatically start uh, uh, right, uh, and that's not and that's how you're going to get it right, done. That's tightening your vocal cord, like I talked about earlier, and you're not going to get very low doing that. No. So, like I said, first thing, relax. The next thing that you want to do is, and it's going to sound really nasal, but uh, and Chris West is actually one of the guys who, who taught me. I think you you want to go, ma, 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 and you can. It's it's kind of hard. To you explain. can feel it if you if you've got it if you've got it in your mask. You can feel a res you can a feel vibration. A, a vibration yes. and it resonate in this area right here. You and I'm covering up my mouth. I hope you can still hear me. Right here. But you can hear you can feel it mm -hmm. in addition to hearing. And you will hear a difference in the way what you're producing. Right. You'll hear a difference in what it sounds like. For me, when I first started and my vocal teacher was teaching me about this, I felt like I was singing very nasally, which is something that I grew up like you don't want to sing through your nose because you'll sound like yes. Yeah. And you don't want to sound like that either, so that it's a happy medium kind of. So you don't want to sing through your nose, but you do want it behind your nose. It, it, it's a tricky thing to learn, but once you master it, you'll be glad you did because uh, that, that's how you get that cut to your voice and a lot of bass singers have that that, that airy thing and when I sang acapella that that was what I used you know to get down to my low notes because it was just going into a sub but in a quartet setting you have to have the cut to get above that bass guitar and that's where the mask comes into play is giving it the cut so now also a lot of time a lot of the time man, I've got a problem today talking it's okay a lot of the times we get questions from guys asking, well, I can hit this note. Am I a bass singer? Right. Or this is, this, this is how low I can sing. What, what am I? How, you mm -hmm. know, what would you say, in your opinion, from, from what you learn in school and sure. everything, you, would you tell these guys that if you sing from here to here, you're technically a bass singer? And then obviously if you sing lower, you know. You're probably not going to like my answer, but for me, I'm just a singer. I, I, I know this is a bass singing thing, but... For me, I'm just a singer. I don't want to be labeled as a bass singer because I can do more than that. And most of you probably can too. <coughs> a bass singer, in my opinion, should be able to hit a low C. Yeah. That, that would be the note. And you can classify yourself as a bass singer at that point. But my advice to you, don't let people label you. And, and that's in any, any form of singing. Just be a singer because uh, I think classifications kind of box you in and you don't want to lose your high notes just to gain two low notes. You, you want to be able to sing all through that range. So, And going back to what we were just talking about, when he says a low C, we're talking about singing a low C. Not growling. Not going, uh, Actually singing. Right. You can actually say Old words. words. You yes. can, you know, that's what we're talking about here. So is there anything else you want to give these guys that are watching that would add value, sure. quality to their to their experience and their journey of singing bass. My, my advice, if you're trying to increase your range, listen to your favorite bass singer singing one of your favorite songs and continually sing along with them until you can strengthen that part of your voice. Your voice is a muscle, so the more that you use it, the more that it's going to strengthen. When I mean, when I was in, when I got to college, I couldn't hit a low C. Yeah, it, it took me 
you know, two or three years of really working down there. And uh, Danny Murray's famous thing that he said to me is like, you got to play in the playground, which means get down there in those notes. If you want to sing bass, you probably shouldn't be singing a, above like a, a G sharp on the normal. Um, I, I would say you need to stick between that low C up into about a, a, a G3 stay in that range and that will strengthen that part of your voice because um, once you get outside of that then you're going to be strengthening a higher part of your voice and yeah. you're losing it so yeah, that's, absolutely. that's my advice so guys i hope that you have enjoyed this video with bass singing tips if you want to check out matt davis where can they find you at man i'm on facebook and instagram and uh, instagram is matt music 77 or just look up the ball brothers and you'll be able to find me and you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Just look up Matt Fouch or Matthew Fouch. I'm all over that. I got stuff over there all the Everywhere. time. So you guys can check that out. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell so you get notifications. Ding. And if you're on Facebook, make sure that you like the page and you're getting notifications for that as well. Like and share, all and that comment. stuff. comment and comment. Yes, that's big too. Yes. So thanks so much for joining us guys. We hope you enjoyed this bass singing tips video. Until next time. We'll see you.